Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in, I got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, no sunshine. Just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Commercial real estate about to suffer the knockout blow. Oh Scott, you're just stirring the pot. You're just trying to go for views and clicks. Well, I don't have to try. This is pretty easy. All I need to do is open my email and get shocking shocking lender emails now going out identifying what the next trend is and this trend is pretty much something that we've warned about here at the show as we're forward thinking and critical thinking a lot of this stuff we predicted and it's coming to fruition so i think it's so important right now to continue to just be iron sharpens iron expect the unexpected you don't want to be a deer in the headlights and listen friends here's something I, I found very curious and very kind of almost odd i know there's a lot of people on youtube uh, telling you what's going to happen most of these people never lived through a housing bubble they don't know this was a casino climate si similar to hitting the lottery with the money dump and a lot of these people poured into the industry listen if you're under the age of 35 chances are you don't remember, you didn't suffer any of the blowback from the last bubble. But I see a lot of people exactly in that age group giving financial advice. They've never lived through a bust firsthand. Maybe they were still living at home. Maybe they were at college. But if you're under 35 years old, chances are, statistically, you, you didn't suffer any of the effects of the last bubble your parents might have but you don't remember that my kids don't remember it they lived through the last bubble they don't remember it they were too young but boy yours truly does so the reality is our friends one of the things that we're seeing now this is really shocking i'm going to show you an email today from a lender now there's balloon payments about to just it, we got balloon payments right now for commercial real estate holders that are now going to need to refinance and they're not going to be able to do it we have such a big problem, a big issue, a big warning sign in commercial real estate right now. This, in fact, and we've talked about this before, we don't even need a black swan event, really, to continue to reset this housing market. It, the government's going to do it for us through interest rate hikes. They already poured ice water on on the forest fire. So the, the it's put out. Now it's just really how deep does it go? And we know here at the channel, there's three levels of an economic downturn. Your 35-year-old friend doesn't particularly know this. And if they do, they don't know enough about it. They don't have firsthand experience. Correction, recession, depression. Three levels of an economic downturn. In 2008, that was a recessionary level of a downturn. There was no depression declared. The last depression was the Great Depression. The stock market crash in 1929. It took years to dig. It was a... a, a war zone out there people suffering suffering a lot of people cashed in and that's our job not necessarily take advantage of people when they're down kick them when they're down no any wealth that we that we accumulate we really need to deploy it back out to be of service and help others at least to allocate a portion of that any success that i receive i always try to tell myself you know help others Help others. I don't need a bigger house, nicer car. <laughs> That's not important to me. Now, when I was 35 and under, oh, very important to me. I'm going to have a jet and I'm going to have a car and I'm going to have this and I'm going to have that and I'm going to do this and I'm going to show it off and I'm going to flex on social media and show you all how cool I am. Whew. Life lessons. Man, with age comes wisdom, I guess. I'm, I'm sure I've heard that said before. So today, to drive our point home, let's go ahead and jump into this lender email and see what it has to say. Then we'll meet back here to wrap it up. Let's get started. Good morning. TREP reports that $450 billion of multifamily and commercial mortgages will mature in 2023 and $490 billion in 2024. A lot of equity capital will be required in many of those refinancings need topping up to lower the loan to value ratio or better cover higher debt service. The lender may agree to an extension, but it's unlikely the borrower could avoid paying down a portion of the loan to win their approval. And loan forbearance is a thing of the past. Time is money in a higher interest rate environment. We are here to assist you and your clients with balloons coming due with a group of wholesale lenders providing competitive rates and terms. All right, I think we get it. Let's get back to the studio. 
All right, friends, welcome back. So shocking, shocking, right? That's a shocking email right there. Lenders now sending out email. This is some. If you if we're look if we're reading between the lines, looking between between the cracks on this one. This is the first of many that are going to start coming. People are in trouble. Let's just cut to the chase. These type of emails don't go out in the rainbows and sunshine climate. They go out in there's a storm, a lumen, and commercial real estate got completely stifled in lockdowns. And residential went bonkers. So that's a big red flag. And we're going to have a lot of banks holding debt. They already are. And they're starting, they're, they're, we, the banking system, I believe, just like in 2008, the, the banks failed and needed bailouts. It's probably coming again. This time it's starting to appear. I've heard some other reports of commercial having some, I've reported here on the show even, we're seeing defaults on big high-rise buildings in Los Angeles and plenty other areas are empty too. So I think it's kind of the, the elephant in the room, the things that we don't really, we're, none of us are really out there shopping for a new commercial building, although a lot of investors are looking for a safe haven for their money, but not in these office buildings, mainly like multifamily and stuff like that. And, and this, this email kind of alluded to that as well. A lot of multifamily is lumped into commercial. And we have a lot of apartment buildings being built. They probably, you know, were hoping to be built and the euphoria and, and filing in tenants like sardines. And I don't think it's happening. So I think there's just this big, this big storm of brewing out there with commercial real estate. And I think case positive today is really when we start seeing lenders now producing this type of email saying, if you need help, you know, we, we got some options for you, whether they do or they don't. So, and I think what, if we're really forward thinking, critical thinking, we're going to see a lot because we, we know 10, over 10, well over 10 million people bought it during the crisis and at the top of the market. And so now that the reverse course has occurred, they're most likely negative equity position and upside down on their purchases. And, and that's another, I think, Thing. I always called this a casino climate because it was like hitting the lottery for a lot of these people with your house. All of a sudden, the wealth effect was created. It was unrealized wealth because it was just dead equity sitting in the home. But you check the home's value. It's like, wow, I'm I'm rich. And so it created the casino climate. And we've all heard the stories about the people that hit the lottery that end up worse off than they were before they hit it because it creates the wealth effect and they just don't know how, how to handle that. So most of us, I think this was not a good thing to see that that wealth effect created, that false appreciation created, because as it starts to now, you know, change, we're we're going to have a lot of blowback is basically what it's going to come down to. A lot of blowback is now circulating. So I think we're going to see more and more emails and I'll probably be just, you know, sharing those with you as we move forward, as we get in front of this, of not only the commercial, you know, this was aimed at commercial people, you're in trouble with your commercial, give us a call, we can help. Well, we're going to have people next are going to be upside down on their purchases, the recession, job losses, inflation. It's just inflation alone isn't going away overnight. The U.S. savings rates evaporating. I mean, we've got so much to contend with right now, but I think we're going to see a lot of the Zillows and, and these big real estate websites now try to promote clickbait in the form of, you know, a list of home foreclosure homes in your area. They might try to charge a subscription to get at that list. It's all public record. They, you don't need to pay for that. Just stay tuned to the channel. We'll navigate through that as it starts to develop. We'll jump on those websites and take a look and you and and see you know if in fact that's the case. I don't really think you have to tart wait for foreclosures. I think a lot of deals will be coming just with distressed sales, upside down owners, short sales. Those are a little easier to go after than foreclosures in my opinion, but we'll just have to kind of wait and see how it plays out because if we end up in 2008 again, which there's a good chance we would and possibly exceed the blowback that we uh, experienced in 2008, you know, foreclosures are going to be a common property to, you know, be listed on the internet that we can see. But the banks are just giving them away. Sometimes short sales, I think, are going to pencil out better than an actual foreclosure because I think the house will be in better shape. But again, it's just, you know, now kind of learn as we go and identify where these deals are going to be. 
in final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, somebody who wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understanding the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history, reverse course. Welcome to the future, my friends. You're living in historical times when you see emails now communicating the fact that the commercial real estate bubble has in fact popped and there's trying to throw safety nets out there. I don't even know if you can call this a safety net. It might just be somebody just trying to generate business. But the realities are that the, what we learned today is in fact the case. The commercial real estate bubble has popped and the banks are holding a lot of risky loans right now that are going to need refinancing. And it looks like a lot of these people aren't going to have the ability to do that. And it could collapse the banking system. We'll have to wait around as we ring the bell, sound the alarm, read between the lines and look between the cracks and blow the lid off it every chance we get because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video. If you'd like to contact me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy. Whew, mouthful. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, the biggest network of top rated agents in the nation ready to assist you would be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you Simply as well. Simply send it to Scott Walters Real Estate at Gmail. We'll, we'll find your email there as well. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. And I'll see you on the next video.